Well, hello everybody out there. Welcome to another video on the 11 Bang Bang channel. I'm your host, Ethan Woods. And I would say that this is going to be an exciting episode, or a fun episode, or something like that. I actually know it's a very impromptu episode, and the reason why is uh, there's some more news that's come out that I've been keeping track of for a while here lately on a developing story with Mike Bellevue of Duelist 1954. And I'm sorry, the quality on this video is probably not going to be the greatest. I've got my cell phone propped up against two cardboard boxes. So anyhow, let's go in let's talk about what's going on with Mike from uh, Duelist 1954's channel. For those of you who don't know who Mike Bellevue is or the Duelist 1954 channel is, uh, I would say go over there and definitely check him out. I know most of you probably know who he is. Uh, he's one of the bigger black powder channels out there, and he has some really, really good stuff. Matter of fact, I've used some of his methods for things on this channel myself, and you can tell he's been shooting black powder for a long time. And if the black powder community is one big happy family, that would make Mike Bellevue basically the godfather of the black powder community. He's very influential. Anyhow, what's going on with him right now is basically he is getting kicked off of his own range. He has had some issues with the local government up there, the local politicians, the zoning board. Basically, they're saying that he cannot shoot on his range because they're calling it a public shooting range, which even Mike states on his video, he doesn't let anybody shoot out there. He just does it himself. And he went to the zoning board director, I believe, and had mentioned, he said, hey, I shoot out here on my range, but the people who live around are sh literally shooting off their back porches. He said why aren't they getting called in for a shooting range problem? He said, well, here's the difference. According to Pennsylvania law, you have to have a house of over 700 square feet in order to be able to shoot on that property. And Mike Bellevue said, well, I can't really do that because this is actually a conservation ground. It's basically like the, uh, I think we call it the CRP program out here in Kansas. Uh, you can't build anything on it. And that's why he liked it for a shooting range. Well, anyhow, they're going to go ahead, and they told him that they were going to charge him a whopping $500 per steel target per day out there at his range. And he had to take them down, and he had to completely clean that area out. Because he didn't have, like, seven-foot walls around it and stuff, and ventilated. It's stupid. It's an outdoor range, and it's not even really a range. It's just his own private property. So I went and I watched this video, which I'm going to link down below in the description. A few commenters had got on there and had mentioned things like, well, if you've got people living in houses around you, the noise could be bothering them, and that might be why they're trying to shut you down. Or if you have deer hunters in the area, you might be scaring off all the deer. Here's the point I'm going to take on this. I don't get political on this channel very often. But I'm going to go a little political right here and tell you what some of my political beliefs are. I am about as firm of a libertarian as you can find. I believe there should be some regulation on some things. I'm not going to go into all of that. But I believe that I'm the kind of guy who believes that you should own whatever kind of firearm that you can. I believe we should be as well armed, if not better armed, than the military as a civilian populace. And whenever I see things like this, it boils my blood because I'm a huge Revolutionary War fanatic, if you couldn't tell. And that was part of the reason why the Founding Fathers fought the Revolutionary War was for property rights. You've heard of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? It used to actually be life, liberty, and property. Property is very important to the American citizen. And it boils my blood whenever I see somebody stepping in, no matter how big or small a government, stepping in on somebody who has property down there, and they say, you can't do this. It's his property. He should be able to do, as long as he is not hurting anybody, or his rights are not impeding on somebody else's rights, he should be able to do whatever he feels like on that property. Ugh. I'm sorry. It, it gets me frustrated. But here's how you can help. Duelist has opened up a GoFundMe page. Actually, he didn't open it up. One of his friends opened it up for him. I will also put that down in the description. Uh, the 11 Bang Bang channel has made a donation to him. It wasn't a huge one, but it was kind of what we could afford. And I would strongly suggest, even if it's just a dollar or two, go ahead and send some money to Do List Way if you can. 
he's trying to afford some lawyers and they are very, very, very expensive lawyers. What's happening, the way it sounds to me like, is somebody on the, either the township council or the zoning board has got a bone to pick with old Mike Bellevue and they're going to use their power in their local government to handle it. And for those of you asking why I would think this is because I actually am on the city council for our local town, so is Garrett. And I'm actually also on the economic development board for our county as well. And we deal with a lot of zoning issues there. And it does sound to me like somebody on one of a board similar to those is trying to go after Old Duelist. So, yeah, help Old Duelist out as much as you can. Go over to his videos, watch him. That'll help pay for some stuff. You know, he'll get some of that ad revenue money from it. And I would strongly suggest, guys, if you like Black Powder Community, go over to that GoFundMe page and drop a dollar or two. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Trust in God and keep your powder dry. Bye. But I can't afford a lawyer, let alone the best one in Boston. Any innocent man can afford me. But I'm a nobody. And we're all nobodies when we're standing alone. It's what I tried to tell you, Johnny. It's when we fight together that counts. And we happen to believe that we must fight just as fiercely against small tyrannies as against big ones.